Yo, yo, we're back in our Fairfax. And in today's video, I'll be leaking the sauce on this Matrix Glitzy type of effect right here. I don't really know what to name it yet, but it looks super, super hard. And we'll be using a really secret plugin to do this. So let's just get into our Fairfax and show you how to do this. So in my timeline, you can see this is the effect that I made. So let's just go into a clean comp and start it fresh right here and show you how to do it. So firstly, what we're going to do is duplicate our footage layer by hitting Ctrl D. Then select your Roto Brush tool and quickly rotoscope out what you want to like add the scan on for me it's obviously the glock because he's showing that but it can be anything it can be your subject as well yeah for me i'ma just quickly rotoscope out the glock and see y'all now after you select your subject or whatever you want to add the glitch on make sure to like freeze it because uh, i see a lot of people not freezing their rotoscope and it will mess it up when we add like fx senses so yeah please make sure to like freeze it before adding any effect on it so let us do a thing and if we go back into our composition panel and hide our background layer right here our rotoscope looking clean so that's exactly what we would need now the secret plugin that i will be using to create this effect it's called polytrace right here if you don't I know this is really really underrated i never seen any tutorial guy like talking about this you can purchase this plugin or there's some other methods as well if you know what i mean but anyways get it installed into your after effects then add it into your roto and you can see it makes our effect like those like poly like basically like low poly type shit as you can see something like that Car looks cartoonish right now before going more into the video i just want to let you guys know about the best preset pack out right now which is called essential fx and transition bundle it includes the v1 and the v2 together and if you don't already know i dropped these packs few months ago and it has been absolutely blowing in the underground like every single other underground music video it uses it it can be used on other projects as well if you are like anime editor or like even like car edits and stuff so it is absolutely packed with sauce it comes with 80 plus presets and i'm being for real when i say this i went 80 out of 80 so every single preset hits hard so yeah if you want to download it i'll link in the description as i said best pack out right now so make sure you don't miss out on it but let's just get back into the tutorial but we'll be not using draw faces we'll be like on deselecting that and and draw edges make sure to enable that and right after you do you can see it is a mess like it is like like bleeding out of our rotoscope as well so to fix this there's some workarounds one of my favorites is not adding it on the roto layer instead we'll actually duplicate this roto layer maybe name it like roto 2 and name it roto og right here and in roto 2 then add the poly trace right here and then after that just disable the draw faces and enable the draw edges right here and then if you toggle vision modes and fragment it to your roto og you can see it is like selected out and it is only affected on our glock so yeah this is a really cool method to like track it, create that look now you can play with the amount and stuff and play with all of these values to get some like different results in here even in modes you can play with all of these to get like different results like everything looks cool you just gotta like mess around to find something interesting but i'm gonna go with so will the original one then i'm gonna just like hit the stop button the threshold go over to the first frame and lower it down so it like affected more at the first frame on like 30 and as it goes it goes up now if you play it through you can see we have this really cool effect right here but as always we'll not leave it like this we'll be adding a lot of sauce into this so the first thing i like to add in here is a glow but if you add it directly onto your like directly onto this layer you can see the trackpad literally messes it up so to fix that just select your roto 2 and the roto og and right click it then just pre comp it right here and then now after you can add like a glow any glow you can see it is not like cutting off by the roto basically and now you can set it to extend all mold to remove the background if you're wondering yes this is also a plugin it is by vfx suite but if you don't have this you can use something like a normal glow from sapphire or the after effects so yeah something like this also looks cool you just gotta duplicate it twice or three times to get that look but for me i'll be using the optical glow right here and in colorize you can actually set it to any color you like for me i'll be going with something like a matrix green right here and then to make it more glow make sure to set your blending mode to something like linear dodge and then if you bring up the amount you can see it is like really glowing now something like that 
now you can leave it right here but if you have like sapphire i recommend adding something like a scan lines sapphire scan lines with it it gives like those matrix type of vibe i really like i did it on this clip right here as you can see it made everything like thinner and looked really cool like gave that like matrix type of vibe i feel like so yeah you can add it scan line before you glow and actually bring down the brightness so it like cuts off like that as you can see it gives a really hard look right there maybe you can make it something like that and then you can bring up your glow more if you like so something like this now if you play that through you can see our effect is already looking super super dope man i really love this effect i'll be surely using this on my music video as well one more thing you can do is add is as it goes you can just add like a hue and saturation if you if you really want to focus it onto the scan line but you can even add like an adjustment layer and use something like an essential fx so if i add something like a sim best wiggle from essential fx view you can see it adds this super dope wiggle in the start i really love helps to like transition through clips so yeah my essential fx comes with bunch of like 80 plus effect like these for your music video if you want to check it out i'll link it in the description but in this case it is looking pretty dope right here now as i said into this you can add more effect but i think we are done and our final effect looks something like this this was a really quick one you can check out my channel i got a lot of like vfx sauce in my channel you can check out like i got videos ranging from like 5 minutes to 15 minutes as well also if you learn something new please hit the subscribe button and the like button it really motivates me to create more videos like this and serve you guys more content but i'ma see you on the next one peace